So take a look at what I've got here. I've got a screen that's filled with windows. I've got a bunch of different apps running and it's hard to get around in it and see what's available. Um, I'm on a MacBook here so there's limited screen space. And it would be great to have more screen space and you actually can, at least virtual screen space, using something called Mission Control. You can find Mission Control as an app in the Applications folder. You can search for it there with Spotlight. Just typing Mission Control there. Or you can use the keyboard shortcut to launch it uh, which is the best way and the way you should do it. It's using the Control key, not Command but Control on the up arrow key. And when I do so this is what happens. You can see all the windows I've got open and I had five of them open. They all move apart. They're basically representations of themselves. I can move my cursor around to each one and it's a really quick way to get to the window you want. So if I'm going to go to Safari I click on Safari and it jumps to it puts it in the front. I'll do Control Up Arrow again and I can go to Calendar. So it's a quick way to kind of get through the clutter but that's just the most basic way to use it. You can actually use Mission Control to create more space as well. So let me launch Mission Control again. Control Up Arrow. And you can see at the top it says Desktop. And if I move my cursor up there it expands and you can see what it looked like when it was all cluttered. There's also a plus button here. I'm going to use the plus button and create Desktop 2. And you see the first one is called Desktop 1. And you can see Desktop 2 is empty. Let me go to it by clicking on it. Ah, there's nothing there. And if I go Control Up Arrow I can click over here and go to Desktop 1. Matter of fact I can use Control and then right and left arrows to go between them. So there's Desktop 2. There's Desktop 1. So it's easy to get more space. Now if I were to launch another app here uh, so let's for instance say launch iBooks. It would launch here in this desktop space. I control left arrow to go over here and that's all those crowded apps. Go over here and here's iBooks. Now you have even more control than that. So I can go in and uh, control up arrow and here I am on desktop 1 and I can actually drag and drop things. So I can drop Drag the calculator to Desktop 2. So now Desktop 2, if I click on it, has the calculator app and iBooks. And if I control left arrow to the first desktop, calculator app is missing from there. So I can rearrange which apps are on which screen. So I can pretend I've got two monitors. Here's my first monitor and here's my second monitor. And as you probably guessed, I could go with more. I can have a third monitor as well. And I can move an app to that. So for instance, I'll go here to the first desktop, I'll drag and drop text edit to that third desktop there. And now it's like I've got three screens to go between. So you can create as many different screens as you want to move apps around and kind of free up space. And mentally you keep track of where they all are, but control left and right makes it really easy to go back and forth and find things. Now, as you know, apps can go full screen. It can take over the entire screen instead of sharing it with other things. So here is, for instance, Safari. If I hit the green button it will go full screen. Now what has happened if I were to go into Mission Control, Control Up Arrow, is I see that Safari actually occupies its own space here. When you go full screen you're actually creating another desktop that only includes that app. So I have Desktop 1, 2, and 3 that I had before. But Safari now is its own. And instead of having an X button here that I could you know, get rid of these desktops. If I did that, by the way, all these apps would just shift over onto the most logical place. Instead of that, I actually have the ability to take Safari out of full screen mode and, and it will dump it back where it originally came from. But now that I have these four things here, remember this desktop one, Safari, desktop two, desktop three. So if I go in here, this is that was desktop one, this is the full screen Safari, this is desktop two, this is desktop three. So it creates this space just by making an app go full screen. Now you also have one arrow left. That's the down arrow. So what happens there? Well let's go over to this text edit window here uh, that has its own desktop space. I want to create another window there. Let's create a third. So I've got three documents open. If I control down arrow I get to see all of the different windows that are open in text edit. So I can jump between them. So let's say if one of these was kind of hidden behind another one it kind of reveals it and I can jump to it and bring that one to the front. Also at the bottom here you see recently open text edit documents. So you can jump to that as well. And this opens for this works for just about any app. So you know whatever's at the front there is going to bring it up. And sometimes you have 
uh, things that work well with it like text edit multiple windows or Safari with multiple windows and sometimes things like notes and all don't actually do much there. But you can use the control down arrow as well to switch easily between windows. Now let's say you don't want to actually have these windows just cluttering up a desktop but you don't want to take them full screen either. You want to use two apps uh, and you want to use them side by side. Well you can actually do a split view um, and the way you do that is you go to the green button here that would take this app notes here full screen. But I'm going to click and hold instead of just clicking. And if I hold long enough you'll see I get this kind of split screen here and I can drag to either half. And When I drag to this half and then release it takes up the entire half of the screen and this half of the screen then has whatever else is left over. So in this case this app here. I click this app and now it fills the second half of the screen. And Now I can do two apps side by side. And if I look here you can see that I still have desktop 1 and now there's nothing left on it. There's desktop 2 and 3. There's Safari. Notes and Calendar is now a screen and I can release them both back to that window. So you could do this uh, all sorts of different ways. I could uh, let's go to desktop 2 here um, and let me bring this window for text edit into there. Let's go to desktop 3. And I'm going to bring iBooks into here as well. Um, so now I can go and say, well, let's with this text edit window, let's hold and then give it the left side. And now I get to choose what do I want to be my right side. So say I'm taking notes that I have to do with my upcoming calendar events. There, now I've got those two things. And you can notice the, the notes app uh, and uh, uh, the other app that I had there as well, that um, iBooks, that's still there on desktop 1. And this second desktop here is actually called Text Edit and Calendar. So if things get a little out of hand with Mission Control, you can always break things down here. You can, uh, of course, uh, close windows. Um, so I can hit the X there. And I can take apps out of full screen, close more windows, take these two apps out of split view, and go back to one desktop. When I had more than one desktop, I was able to rearrange them very easily by just dragging them around. So it's easy to put them in the order you want uh, and jump to it very easily and get rid of desktops that you don't want and go back to just one.